sipping on press conferences and straight up rallies, am I right? We're gonna get what we got to get. Coming to us, word up. We ain't going out like that 63 nonsense. Everybody haircuts was mm -hmm. that was a like an old style back in the day. That's how you could tell it's like right. not so the clothing down. and the hair, right? So Sean was mentioning how you know the techniques. One of the techniques that they used would make it seem like in the beginning. He says this is what we're doing in the modern times. We're going to rally, and so it seems like it was a rally. Then it turned to something like more like a staged music video. You guys, did anybody else notice that? How it seemed like real, and then it seemed like maybe that they set it up. Anybody else? What about, um, what about the footage at the beginning of the video? Did anybody recognize what that was? The black and white? Uh, Million Man March. Million Man March. What was the Million Man Million March? Man March was, um, I think the Million Man March was when everybody was marching like around um, the city. Washington. 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 Yeah, Washington. Cool. And, um, and March on Washington. And then um, everybody was protesting. Like the sign said, stop racial violence. Yeah. So what were they marching for? They were trying to get the white people, the, the white um, Caucasian race to stop messing with um to stop um, messing with the um, African American race like stop calling them names and like stop messing with them and let them be fair let them have freedom let them just be themselves like what well, you get to be themselves because it's not fair. Great, thank you. It was basically like because after slavery, blacks I mean blacks and whites still had problems. Because whites like started doing like smart stuff and like they like you said and uh, um, what was that? Uh, burn Hollywood burn. They had the black faces and then they had white stuff on them and they were pretending to be like white slave people. And it's like that little smart stuff that the men were marching for to stop all the racial stuff. No. Do you guys no. remember when the beginning of hip hop was? 1970 something. Does anybody know the very first hip hop record? Well, this here. This is considered, and some people debate it, but you know, this is considered the very first hip hop record made and put on what they call wax, which is vinyl, an actual record. Cool. And the group was. What do you think? Sugar Hill Gang. How do I? How do you know that? It says it right there. Says it right there. <laughs> Very observant. What is this? What is this thing that says it right there? What am I holding in my hand? Sugar Hill. What kind of cover? Chase. A record label. No. Uh huh. A record label. A record what? Logo. Record company. What's another word for a record? It starts with an A. Oh. Album. Very good. So what is this called then? Album cover. Album cover. Nice. And every album cover has album what that starts with an A that you oh. guys made for your own soundtracks. Album artwork. Album artwork. So all of these records have album artwork, and you guys are going to be making them, and we're going to get into that. So I just want you guys to notice the album artwork of the very first hip hop record to date. So we have what? We have some kind of bright colors, right? Got a flute. <laughs> oh, it looks like a flute to you? It looks like a worm. No, looks like it looks a worm. like sugar. It looks like candy. It's it looks like it's a hill. Because it looks like it's a hill coming all the way. You have to go all the way up to the city. That's a G. It's like a G. Sugar hill. I mean, that was very, G. very insightful. Yeah, yeah, I want a pound too. Sugar hill. Gang. And what else do you see? You have a sugar hill. What else do you see? What do you see at the top? The city. By the circles. City. Why would they put a city on here? Looks like it does. But that's where the game come from. Mm. That's where what game? That's where they come from. That's where they come from. Let me see. 
They look like Philadelphia. They look like it came from Bronx, New York. No, I look like the Bronx. Bronx. You been to the Bronx lately? No, listen, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm New York. I'm just guessing. But about, it could be because you're just the Bronx. That's where hip hop started at. Oh, did it? That's where it started. Oh, right. Gangsta rap started in Philly, though. Yeah, yeah. Rap started in Philly. I said gangsta rap. Gangsta rap started in Philly. Gangsta rap. Gangsta rap. Okay. Okay. We could debate that another day. But for now, I'm going to pass this around. I'm going to put this back in the jacket because this is a classic. This is a classic. Now. The other thing I want to mention to you that's on here is the artist, the particular artist. What does that say there? Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. Mm -hmm. Yes. Grandmaster Flash is in my DJ Hero game. He's in your DJ Hero game? And he has his own little soundtrack. He has a song. I forgot the name of it. Um, I forgot the name of the song, but he has his own song. But other DJs in there, I forgot how it went though. Okay. There's one thing, thank you for sharing that, because what you're doing is you're teaching Ms. Jackson that this guy was part of this group who had a record back in 1970 on it. It's doing stuff today. He's still making media for you today, and you still know who he is, even though he made this back. Let me tell you something about Grandmaster Flash. Grandmaster Flash is also famous for having written the very first hip-hop song that had what they called a conscious message in it. Do you guys remember what we yes. talked about conscious the other day? Can we talk about conscious? Oh, can, I, can I ask my students this yeah, question? Go and, for then, it. and then you can help them out? What is the conscious message? It's a message that they intentionally put in. That they intentionally put in? Okay. And is the message positive, negative? Does it... What kind of message? It's intentional in what way? Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Think about anything in particular or anything. Think about how they act in life. How they act in life. So maybe what you mean, like for the listener to be reflective. Yes. Okay. You guys listening? Okay. I'm trying my show. Anything okay. else you want to add to that? Yeah. It's like something that's like awake, like unconscious means you're asleep, and conscious means you're awake, and it's a message that's like awake in the song that's like really popping out that people understand, that people know about it, and it's really famous, and people 